Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this impulse and momentum problem, we're going to be talking about how to find the speed of the ant that it leaves the ground. So let's go through and write all the values. So we know the mass of the ant is 12 milligrams. So if we have 12 milligrams, we know in one gram there are a thousand milligrams. So now our milligrams cancel out and we're in grams here, but we need kilograms. So we know in one kilogram, there is a thousand grams, of course. So now the grams cancel out and the units that we'll be left with here are kilograms. So if you look at this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So dividing by a thousand twice is essentially the same as moving the decimal place over six. So if we move it one to 1.2, so there's one and then six more, two, three, four, five, six will leave us with 10 to the negative five. Um, now that we have that in SI units, let's keep going and writing down the other units that we need. So the average force is 47 millinewtons, but that's obviously not in SI units either. This one's a little bit easier. We can just change the milli to what it stands for, and there's less room for error for us in the problem. So we'll leave 47 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons. So now we're in standard SI units, and now, like I said, there's much less room for us to have an error by moving the decimal place over and forgetting a zero or something like that. So now they tell us that the average time that it hits the ground, delta T, is 0 0.13 milliseconds, which moving that to SI units is, of course, like we just did, 0 0.13 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. If that confuses you and you want to see in SI units, we can move the decimal place 1. So we'll have 1.3 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds, and that's in the standard scientific notation. But like I said, I think it's easier to do it like this one here. Okay, so now we have all of our units that we need written down, or all of our variables that we need written down. So now let's write down the equation that we need for this one. Obviously, we're going to be using impulse, which is equal to the average force times the change in time, which is also equal to the change in momentum. So we're only going to be using these two here. So the F average times the change in time is equal to the change in momentum like we already talked about. And if we break that up even further, F for F average times delta T is equal to mass times the change in the velocity. So the initial velocity of the ant is zero. So when we break up the delta P, it's mv final minus mv initial, but the velocity initial is zero, so this whole unit goes away. So essentially what we're left with is mass times velocity final. And of course, the velocity final is what we're trying to solve for. So let's divide both sides of the equation by the mass. And we have, let's give us a little bit more room over here. So the final velocity of the ant will be equal to the average force times the change in time divided by the mass of the ant. So now we can plug everything into our equation. So the final velocity is equal to the average force in SI units, which we said was 47 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons times the change in time, which we said was 0 0.13 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds, all divided by the mass, which we said was 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5 kilograms. So now let's look at our units here. So we know that a newton, if we break that up, is kilograms times meters per second squared. 
Uh, we have kilograms on the bottom, so the kilograms will cancel out. And now that leaves us with meters per second squared times a second. But this is really like a fraction if we put it seconds over one. So now the seconds will cancel out there and we're left with meters per second. And obviously we need a velocity, so we know that we did our math correctly here. So let's put this into our calculator. Forty seven times ten to the negative three times point one three times ten to the negative three all divided by one point two times ten to the negative five leaves us with zero point five oh nine. The velocity final is equal to 0 0.509 meters per second. And rounded gives us 0 0.51 meters per second.